Hi, welcome to the channel. I am Jill. So you guys, today's video is going to be a follow-up on the video that I did um, titled, Did Intermittent Fasting Cause Me to Have a Heart Attack? So um, I don't think we're going to be long, but if you want to grab a snack, go ahead, grab your drink and popcorn, some peanuts. Cause, so listen, guys, ever since then, when the doctor told me to stop doing the intermittent fasting, it has been a month. And child, I've gained two pounds. You know, and I've been looking at these videos that I've been doing. And child, it's probably more than that. But according to what I said my weight was during that video and what it is now, it's two pounds. But I think we're going to have to try to get back on board with. And I think the only thing that I'm really doing, he told me to stop. But you know, see what had happened was, so let's back on up. So if this is your first time here, I do home decor, fashion, and lifestyle. I hope that sounds like something you're interested in. Check out some of my previous videos. See if you like what I do. Subscribe and become a part of the family. Now you guys, before you leave this video, why don't we go ahead and do it now? Because a lot of times, I know when I'm watching other people's videos, if I don't do a thumbs them up immediately, I'll forget. So go ahead, thumbs me up. Uh, share me out, share me out, and share me out. So now we got that out of the way. So about a month ago, since I did the video, so maybe a little bit over a month now, I was at work and I had been complaining of, um, but it wasn't like, um, it was like a nagging chest pain. And so long story short, if you didn't watch that video, I'll put it in the iCard. Um, I ended up driving myself to the emergency room, yada, yada. Had to eventually follow up with my doctor. He did lab work and, you know, he put me on potassium because he stated that low potassium would make you have heart attack symptoms. So, um, that's what, and he told me to stop fasting because of all the controversy behind intermittent fasting right now. So, anyway, I... I really tried, you know, not to do the intermittent fasting. But when something becomes a habit, and I had been doing it for over a year, a year, you guys. So, you know, it was embedded in me. So there was times where I had to like, okay, you're, you're doing it. So you need to stop. So I was taking, you know, I took the medicine. He gave me um, potassium to take. Um, and you guys... I still continue to kind of, ain't no kind of, I continue to inter intermittent fast. Uh, however, I wasn't watching the portion chat. It's all about portion control. Anywho, uh, I really and truly believe that it was my potassium because since I've been on the potassium medicine, I've not had any more chest pain. I've not had any more numbness and tingling of the hand and arm, no neck pain. So listen, always 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 you know do your do your follow-ups with your doctors do your uh because i still have to go back i think i have to go back in like six months so it's been a month down it might be i might be lying it might be sooner than six months but i'm gonna have to go back he'll do more lab work to see how i'm doing now i think one thing he's gonna have to do i think he's gonna have to up my potassium because um I've been having issues with muscle spasms. Now, when I was having all that chest pain, I wasn't having muscle spasms. And I know that muscle spasms are a sign of low potassium. So, but now, anyway. So, I think he, I'm going to have to get him to up my dose. Uh, excuse me, I bumped it and it kept her shaking the shape. But anyway, uh, up my potassium dose. Um, you guys, I'm a true believer in preventative uh, measures. Anything that you can do to prevent major illnesses, I'm all about it. Uh, make sure you get your mammograms done. Uh, ladies, get your pap smears done. Um, get your eyes tested. Let me share this with you. One of my sisters, sister number five, yes, yeah, sister number five, uh, doing an eye exam, they found an aneurysm doing an eye exam. So uh, get your checkups, you guys. What is it? Only, you know, it's a copay for a lot of us. I know some people don't have the insurance, but honey, listen, 
I can remember back in the day when things was, you know, kind of tight and rough. I would go to the clinic. I had no issue. And I must say, our city has uh, some of the best clinics, I, I feel like. Because it was uh, one of our clinics that found that uh, found I had sarcoidosis. If you're not familiar with sarcoidosis, Bernie Mac had sarcoidosis. And um, back when I was diagnosed, I couldn't hear of anybody having it, you know. And you feel kind of uh, lost when, you know, you're the only one that you know. And you're asking people, well, have you ever heard of them? And they say, soccer, what? So, you know, when uh, I finally heard of someone having it, it was an article in Essence Magazine. And my sister saw it as well. She called me. She's like, Jill, Jill, I was reading Essence, Essence Magazine. I said, girl, I saw it. I saw it. Somebody else has it. It's not just me. So, um, yeah, get your, if you can't afford, you know, oh, but now there's, they like to call it Obama, Obamacare, uh, but they have that. Make sure that you are doing all the preventative things that you need to do to keep yourself healthy because um, we don't want strokes, you know, high blood pressure and all that. Make sure you get your blood pressure checked, um, all that. Get it all done. I even do, um, now at one point I was getting like the stomach flu. I would get that every year, guys, about two or three times a year. Once I started taking the flu shot, then all that ceased. I no longer get that. So, um, this year, no, this is 2024. Last year was the first time I took, um, what is it? Uh, the thing for the shingles, the shingle shot, because prior to, I, ne I because I never had chicken pox, so I never got it, but my doctor said we was going to do it anyway. So, uh, I told him, I'm like, okay, I trust you. I've been not getting nothing. <laughs> We have that kind of relationship. I've been not getting nothing. So, and um, the RSVP, if you're 60 or over, make sure, that's it, right? RSV, RP, what is it? RS, I said RSVP. That's not right. It's RSV. Anyway, get checked. Get everything checked. So, I just wanted you guys to know that so far, so good. Um, I'm really thinking that it was uh, my potassium. And uh, mm -mm, we don't do this. I'm sorry. There you go. So, um, yeah. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you were wondering. Because as I said, I know some of you guys went on the journey with me. Uh, and I did have one um, one lady that uh, is doing it with me say that she had been having the same symptoms. So if you're watching, I don't want to call out your name, but you know who you are. Uh, have them check your potassium because uh, when I say I feel better since you put me on that potassium medicine, I feel better. No chest discomfort. I was having, I mean, it. I was feeling bad. I mean, it was, it was horrible. So anyway, um, I think that's all I want to share. But again, make sure you get all your preventative stuff done. I know, as I said, a lot of insurances don't want to cover it, but honey, do what you got to do to get your prevent. Oh, don't forget, don't forget your uh, colonoscopies. It's on, honey, the prep is worse than the procedure. So get that done. Everything that you need to do to prevent you from, you know, being sick or not knowing about something, I need you to do because, you know, we got to, I need you around so we can chit and chat and have our fun. So anyway, I'm going to close here. Um, wait a minute before I close. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Oh, I do want to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining uh, the Jill's crew. I'm going to call now. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. And um, again, thanks for watching. To my true blue, tight like glue. Thanks for watching. And um, I'm going to close. Okay, so listen, before I go, I do want to say this because I know there are a lot of a lot of people who do not believe in vaccines and all that, but you can still do the preventative work. Go get checked out uh, and do what you do. Uh, if it's, you know, flu shots not for you or 
any of that, then, you know, don't do it. Uh, this, this is just what I do. Um, but I do want to keep you around with me if you are one of those people that don't do vaccines and everything. So, but, so you can still get checked, sis and brother, you can, you can still get checked. So that's all I want. I want you guys to get your checkups and eat healthy, be healthy. And I love you from your toes to your soul. And until next time, stay safe and blessed. Bye guys.